Good Monday makers. In this week's roundup, we're looking at a garden fence, blueberry enclosure, flower pot stand, Halloween armature, a sea flea launch trolley, and a motorcycle cover. All kinds of great builds and really cool things to look at. Let's jump in and check them out. First up, we have a build from Joe, and this is a fence that she built around her garden to keep deer out. And we can see a pretty standard enclosure that we see. You know, usually enclosures have four corners. You can see there's 90 degree connectors in the corners. It's a pretty large enclosure. But then she has, it looks like actually 90s kind of flipped over in the opposite orientation, kind of sideways to add a pipe that runs along the top and then adds a vertical every few feet. And then she's kind of done that design all the way around. Also see some, see if we can see a better angle here. We can see some 45 degree braces at the top that connect it together. And then it looks like she added some wood paneling. I think, well, I know she did something really cool with the gate. So we can see here, she's got this wooden gate to the enclosure. And it looks like she added some kind of hook drilled into the wooden, uh, the, you know, the, the two by fours here around the gate. And then she just hooks that onto the pipes and then she can easily take it off, she said, which is a really clever way to do a gate. If you don't want to do a hinge and you want something that's just, you know, pretty simple, you just grab onto it, unhook it, and then set it off to the side. And that allows you to create a big gate like this. And then it looks like she just added the enclosure material around the outside. You can get uh, specific deer fencing, you can get chicken uh, chicken wire, uh, different things like that, and it works really well to, to add an enclosure. She did it about halfway up just because she's trying to keep deer out, but again, if you're keeping out birds and other things like that, you'll probably want to do the, the whole enclosure. But that's a really awesome build from Joe. Looks great. Thanks so much for sharing that with us through email. Next up is a build from Ken, and this is a octagon-shaped blueberry enclosure. We can see they've got a, a garden here, a blueberry bush here, in this kind of circular garden bed. And because it's circular, you, know, you could do a square uh, or rectangle enclosure, but they used 135 degree connectors going all the way around and created an octagon shape around the two blueberry bushes. And it looks really great. The silver 135s on the silver conduit. And then it looks like there's just some of the, the green kind of mesh chicken wire that you can find at Lowe's or Home Depot. Looks like that is spread out around the outside. And because they're keeping out birds and and not just deer, uh, they got the whole thing enclosed. And to attach that, looks like they use some of the, the fabric clips uh, on top of the mesh and on top of the pipe to secure it in place. We've actually added those to the site recently in case you need to do something like this. And it looks really awesome. Here's the framework without the mesh and the netting. Oh, it looks like there's a vertical pole in the middle here in the flower bed, and then they go up. And I think there is a hole drilled through the pipes and then a bolt that goes through. Maybe there's a threaded pipe insert um, inside that center pole and then connects the three together. We've seen another build like that recently. I think we'll cover that one in next Monday's uh, roundup, but that's a really smart way to do that. So awesome, Ken. Thanks so much for sharing that. Love seeing that in the community. Next up is a build from Photo Steven. And Steven actually shared a couple of builds in the past. One, we did an interview with him and he showcased a, a Jeep Wrangler roof rack that he made that was really sweet. He's back again with another build, and he said this was uh, inspired by the corner floor lamp. If you haven't seen the corner floor lamp, it's basically just like this, where it has a leg, kind of a, a V-shaped leg here, and there's just two pipes and a 90-degree connector, and then one tall vertical pipe. And then we just added some LED lights to that and made a lamp out of it. But what he's done is he's added a 90-degree connector up the verticals here. You can't really see it behind the pot. You kind of see it there. But that allowed him to basically add another V shape here about halfway up and then another one at the very top. Then he used T connectors to add kind of a, a hook and he made kind of a diamond shape here that he can set the pots down in. He's got these potted plants and they just kind of sit down, sit down on these pipes here. He did that all the way up and it's just a, a really clever way to do it. There you can see the 90 that's holding up the pot. Really simple, just a few connectors. It looks like he painted the whole thing white. That's a really great build from Steven. Really awesome to see and appreciate you sharing that on Facebook. Next up is a build from Michael, and this was left as a review on the T-Connector, and we appreciate the review, left some good notes in here. Really, really appreciate the feedback and the review. And Michael built a armature for a Halloween decoration. And we'll, we'll look at the frame again here in a second, but here is the armature, there he is. And we can go back and look, he shared a time-lapse of the build where he shows how he built everything. And he did this in a smart way. He's actually got the, it looks like foam board that the, the decoration is cut out of. He's got that laying on the ground. He's already got some of the details sketched in place so we can kind of see what it's going to look like all put together and how the decoration is supposed to look like. And then he's basically made his cuts and his connection points based on where they're going to line up on this foam 
board that he's already got set up, there's a good there's a good angle of it, which is a smart way to do it instead of just trying to measure the the decoration, then go measure your pipes and then you know go back and forth doing that. He's just building it pretty much on top of the decoration, which will make it easier to kind of line up all of the connections and all of the cuts that he needs to make. But he shared this time lapse of him building it. It looks like it starts wider apart at the very top and then goes down. And he just did that, I think, just by using a longer pipe at the top between this cross pipe connection here and then also just a smaller pipe down below it, uh, which is a really simple way to do that kind of uh, funnel shape that he did. Um, but here, let's see, we'll go back. Check out the time lapse. He's building, he's doing all kinds of connectors. There's T's, 45 degree connectors. See some adjustable, I think there's some adjustable angle connectors in there. No, maybe not. It looks like it's all T's. He's got these vertical pipes with cross pipes going across and there you can kind of see an overview of that kind of funnel shape I was talking about where this pipe is longer and this one is shorter and just gives it a nice like narrow shape as it goes down. And then he's got 45 degree connectors to add the legs and it looks like T's at the bottom to connect these very bottom pipes and then another 45 degree brace on each leg, which is really great. And then you can see it out in the grass and then he's attaching it to the to the framework here or to the decoration. Oh, I think he's gonna put it inside the foam. So you can see he lined it up. Yep, that's what he did. And then now he's cutting out, um, I guess he's routing the pipes inside the foam, which is a really smart way to do it. You can see that he just basically lined up the pipes on top of the foam and then used a Sharpie to kind of create the the layout or the kind of where the cuts need to be. And then now he's, you know, routing it. And, and the pipes are just gonna fit in there nicely. He's just fully tightening it and then putting it in there. And there it is all finished. Looks awesome, really cool. That's gonna be a great Halloween decoration. Really great build, Michael. Thanks so much for sharing that. Really look forward to seeing it. You should share an update whenever you get it out um, in the yard or wherever it's gonna be for Halloween. We'd love to see it all set up. Thanks for leaving that as a review on the site. Really appreciate it. Next up is a build from Mike, and this is a sea flea. If you've never seen one, I think I've seen one, but I'm not sure, but I can see why it's called a sea flea. It's just a, kind of an interesting shaped boat that he has, and he wanted to make a trolley for it. We've seen a lot of carts for kayaks and different things that you can use to kind of haul everything to the, uh, to the water whenever you're using it, and that's what he's done here. He's created this trolley that the sea flea kind of matches the shape of the sea flea, and you can see he can just set it down on top of here and carry it out. And it's really simple. He's got an axle going from side to side connected with, looks like just the, the method that we see pretty often, which is a threaded rod or just a smooth rod going all the way through the pipe and then into the wheels. And then he's got T-connectors coming off of that axle, sending a pipe to the front using bent pipes here. And then looks like there's 90 degree connectors here. Uh, actually, I think the 90 degree connector is just on this side actually. And that bent pipe, there's also a bent pipe underneath that kind of goes up and connects to that 90. And there's another bent pipe here in the middle that goes up and just kind of creates a concave area that the sea flea can kind of rest down in. And then that allows it to easily, allows them to easily, uh, you know, haul the sea flea, which is a really smart way to do that. Then it looks like there is a handle going all the way out to the front. It's just a long uh, vertical or just a long pipe going all the way through. I think connected using a bolt here through kind of hold it in place. And I think it's secured to the framework here with the 180 degree connector. And those two bent pipes that started at the T's kind of come up and end inside of this 180 degree connector. So it's really great design. Looks awesome. Looks like it's working great. I guess there's a bent pipe here as well. So those aren't T connectors. Those are actually 90 degree connectors. Uh, these here, this one, you can't expect the perfect angle to not see the other side of the 90, but it looks like there's a 90. One pipe goes up and up to this 180, and then one goes underneath and connects here to these middle connectors. So really great design. Really great job building this mic. Looks awesome. And hope you have fun out on the water with the sea fleet. Looks like it's a lot of fun. Next up is a another mic built a uh, an enclosure or a mini garage that he calls it for his motorcycle. You can see he's got it in a garage here and he said he was using a cover that he was tired of just messing with the cover all the time and he wanted to use a, a no touch cover and the frame for those you have to kind of set up. It's kind of similar to this except it's I think a lot more of a hassle to set up. So he wanted to build just a little miniature garage or enclosure that he could use for the motorcycle. And I love this this um, American flag painting here. It looks really awesome. Um, but in front of that, he's got the maker pipe frame. He's using, you know, just uh, a pretty simple box shape. So we've got, you know, pipes laying on the ground here that go to the back, 90 degree connectors that connect this back pipe to kind of create the, the rectangle shape. 
We can notice on this side, he doesn't have the 90 degree connectors in this pipe going across because he needs to pull the motorcycle inside of it. So he's just using T, connector, T connectors to go vertically. And then he's just basically building a rectangle at the top four more 90 degree connectors. And then he added some bracing from there. We can see there's 45 degree bracing in this corner. Same thing here. And then in the top, he's doing a vertical angled brace that goes from this vertical pipe up to the horizontal. Same thing on this side. And then he did the same thing on the mirrored on the other side. And he's also done some more smaller 45 degree bracing. And then last but not least, he did some T connector bracing back and forth the very top. And just looks really great. There's his motorcycle inside. It's a beautiful bike. And here is the cover. He said he had an old car cover that he's basically spread out on top of the framework. And he's even got casters on the bottom. I didn't notice that. So he can roll the casters around or roll the frame around if he wants to move it around his garage or out of the garage. But as you can see, he's got this car cover spread out over top of it. It zips up, looks really nice. And it, his bike is in there nice and secured and, you know, staying clean inside the cover. So that's really awesome build. Thanks so much, Mike, for sharing that. Really, really awesome to see. That's all the builds I have for you this week. Hope you guys enjoyed checking them out as much as I did. As always, thanks everybody for posting your builds. We love seeing all the creative things that you guys do with Conduit and other materials. If you want to see any of the builds in more detail, check out the links in the description below. Thanks everybody for watching. We'll see you in the next video.